So after we've played with the one loop, uh, there's this other thing we could do. Imagine, so imagine you want to draw not just lines, but a grid. So what is a grid? Well, it's like multiple rows stacked on top of each other. So it's multiple like shapes, lines of shapes stacked on top of each other. So we could do it like this. We could say, um, let's uh, say size. Uh, we could run this program and see what that does. And so our window is 500 wide by 100 tall. Okay, we've got that. Uh, then let's shift away from the lines, though, and move on to drawing the ellipses, where now we have, we want to draw like a single line of ellipse shapes. And so we've done that. We've drawn three ellipses. You can see we start our circle ellipse coordinate at 25, we go as long as it's less than 75, and we increment each time through the loop by 25. Okay, well, we could just do three of these loops, so um, let's do this. We'll copy and paste this loop uh, three different times, and now at each different co Y coordinate, we're going to say, okay, we want 50, and then we want like 150, we'll go down by 100. And then uh, 250 being the y coordinate each time. So now, if we run our program, we've got these three lines of circles. But this is a little cumbersome. The sign on my door says, do not repeat yourself. So, like, this is obviously repetitive code that we're typing over and over and over. So there has to be a better way. And the better way is to uh, use what's called nested for loops. So we put one loop inside another loop. Uh, let's So let's make a loop for the Y thing. Let's say for int circle Y, and we'll start this at 50. We'll go as long as circle Y is less than or equal to 250. And each time through the loop, we'll increment plus equals. We're going to go down by 100 pixels each time through our loop. Um, and, oops, circle Y, sorry. So now we have this circle Y that represents the Y coordinate. And then we have this other loop that does X's. So let's just put the X loop inside the Y loop. Um, and it's important to do the tabs correctly, so oops, so that uh, you can see it easily. And now instead of just using 50, we're going to say, no, let's draw each one of these things at circle Y. And so now if we run our program, we have the exact same result, but with code that's much more modifiable and elegant instead of just copying and stuff over and over, we have this code that runs and makes these three rows of three circles in each row. And I think that's enough for this video. Why don't you just pause and kind of play around with some of these numbers, change stuff around until you have a feel for what's going on here.